Queen Nandika Bebe, also known as Nandi Zulu, was born around 1760 in Nama, South Africa. Nandi was the daughter of Bebe, a past Elangeni chief, and she became famous in history as the mother of Shaka Zulu, the legendary king of Zulu nation. Nandi's life was filled with challenges and hardships. She became pregnant out of wedlock by Senzanga Kona Gajama, who later became the king of the Zulu people. The Mshongo people, to which Nandi belonged, demanded damages for the non-traditional act, and Nandi herself demanded 55 head of cattle as payment. Senzaga Kona of the Jamas agreed to pay the damages to avoid war. Senzanga Kona truly loved Nandi, and she initially spent time at his kraal after giving birth to their son, Shaka. However, their relationship deteriorated and Nandi was forced to leave the kraal, returning to her people, the Mshongo of Elangeni, and leaving Shaka behind. Shaka's life at Senzanga Kona's kraal was dangerous, and eventually his uncle Muli brought him to Nandi at Elangeni for safety. Nandi had to protect her son from famine, assassination attempts, and enemies during this period. However, Nandi's stay at Elangen also became unsafe, prompting her to leave and seek refuge among the Gwade people. It was there that she met Gendeyana, whom she married and had a son named Ngwadi. Living among the Gwabe people proved to be unpleasant for Nandi, and she subsequently left to live among the Ntetwa people led by Chief Dingiswai. The Mtetwa people warmly welcomed Nandi, proving a safe place for her to raise her sons, Shaka and Ngwadi, as well as her daughter, Nomtoba. It was among the Mtetwa people that Shaka developed his military tactics. Nandi's life came to an end when she died on the 10th of October in 1827. Shaka was devoted to his mother and his grief was so intense that he imposed harsh measures on the Zulu people to grieve with him. He executed those he believed were not grieving sufficiently which led to the deaths of thousands of people. He also ordered that no crops be planted and no milk be used. Pregnant women and their husbands were also executed. This period of his rule is known as the Great Famine, or Mazantul. Queen Nandika Bebe was a devoted mother and she instilled in Shaga a strong sense of ambition and determination. She was known for her intelligence and her wisdom and she is credited with helping to shape the history of Southern Africa. If you'd like to know more about Shaka Zulu, check out our full video of his rise to prominence, as well as our video on the Rain Queen of the Balabedu people regarding their encounters 